Let's look at the asset organization structure and the chart of depreciation. Let's look at the overview of the asset accounting module in SAP Financials. Now we saw in our balance sheet and PL statements with regard to accounts receivable, that is your customers. We saw accounts payable, that is your vendor master data and vendors, vendor postings. We saw all different type of customer postings as well and bank accounting is also part of the current asset side and now we are moving on to asset accounting which is another component of the SAP financial modules so we have general ledger, general ledger consists of all the entries in your financial statements including your balance sheet and PNL. you have accounts receivable, you have accounts payable, you have bank accounting and then you have asset accounting now in SAP terminology asset accounting means it's the fixed assets fixed assets as you know here are examples like land, buildings, machinery, vehicles and so on. Now let's look at a basic asset accounting principle. Look at one example to get an idea. So if you purchase a machine for $12,000 and if that machine has a useful life of 4 years with straight time depreciation, let's see how the financial entries take place in the system. So initially if you acquire a machine, it will become a fixed asset for you and you put the value here in the fixed assets machine $12,000 now this can be related to all the machinery in your systems so let's say you buy another machine for $4,000 then gets, that gets added on over here and that becomes $16,000 in this example we just look at one machine so we have got the machine under our fixed assets machine $12,000 now it will have 4, year, four use, years of useful life and straight line depreciation so it's going to depreciate in a straight line so 4 years means per year it's going to reduce by $3,000. So that's why I put here 3000 3000 3000 and 3000 So every year you are in your income statement the depreciation value will be $3,000. So let's say if this balance sheet was prepared in 2016, then 2017 the machine value will be $9,000. This is not giving further more examples. So the initially it's $12,000. So in depreciation in the first year is $3,000, then the net book value of the asset is $9,000. Again another depreciation of $3,000 in the second year, it becomes $6,000. Another depreciation of $3,000 in the third year, it becomes $3,000. And finally after the fourth year, there's no more net book value because the machine has exhausted its useful life of four years. So this is how the basic asset accounting works with regard to financial postings. Asset accounting is the important module in SAP Financial Accounting. It's one of the four components, as I mentioned earlier, general ledger, accounts receivable, accounts payable, banking ledger, and you have asset accounting. Along this presentation and the next few presentations, we'll discuss more about the organizational units in asset accounting and the asset classes, the depreciation areas, the chart of depreciation, and how all the different type of asset transactions can be posted in SAP Financial Accounting. The chart of depreciation is the highest node in asset accounting module. Now the chart of depreciation is also country specific. So for each country, SAP has already predefined a set of chart of depreciation. So you can actually just copy an existing chart of depreciation and use it for your purposes. So what is this chart of depreciation? Just like we saw a chart of accounts where it has a list of all the GL accounts and the description chart. For example, it will have all the depreciation areas, all the asset classes and so on. Now let's look at the organizational structure for chart of depreciation. Chart of depreciation is created at the client level. So client is the highest node in financial accounting. Now you can have one or more company codes in the same country using the same chart of depreciation. In this example, you have company code AU01 which is an Australian company and another company code AU02, another Australian company, both using the chart of depreciation for Australia. Similarly, here you have one company code NZ01 which is a New Zealand company code using the New Zealand chart of depreciation. So for each country you have chart of depreciations. That's why it's called chart of depreciation is country specific. Now all these company codes can be assigned to the same chart of accounts. 
Rồi bây giờ